My Hero Academia Season 6 Episode 13, maybe the final episode of the first half. I was filled with so much hope last episode. All I can do is grope my own posterior. I feel like the villains have one last, one last maneuver. We were supposed to gather together and create a spectacle. We haven't done anything yet. I mean, I think they created a pretty big spectacle, but okay. Found footage of Toga sobbing, her life in shambles. This cannot be where our performance ends. Oof, final performance. That's an ominous title of the episode for Mr. Compress. We were a group of twisted and Mr. Compress flashback. About ourselves. I think we know who's featured this episode. This is sacred ground. This is a throwback. The League of Villains early days. How far they've come. We'll leave when we have what we want. You'd be smart to stay out of our way. I remember when I thought that Tomoraki wasn't killing people. Boy, how wrong I was. Skull faces got nothing. This crab looks valuable. Aw, twice. <laughs> Why is it that I'm watching a, a villain flashback where they just massacred a whole group of people? And my predominant feeling is, aw, the good old days when we were happy together, when we were all alive. Typical. The whole gang's just sitting around. Aw, the good old days when Dobby Are wasn't completely off the rails. Working to find us some more members? All you're doing is going around burning people to death. Or not. <laughs> so much for that. Maybe you're just a bad judge of character. Please, like you're one to talk. Funny, because Toga's actually a great judge of character. She singled out Uraka and Deku. While watching the news one night, I witnessed Stain's final moments. That was the first time I realized how suffocating the culture around me was. This is a flashback within a flashback we're watching right now. And given the span of the show, this was like two weeks ago. We were so strapped for cash, we had to worry about where our next meal would come from. We also lacked a unified vision. And yet, how do I explain it? It was the good old days. I loved being in the League of Villains. Yeah, the camaraderie, the climb, the dream. This is my duty to my bloodline. The reason I'm here. Couching ah! <laughs> my own flesh loose. Being able to touch his own ass came in really handy. Arm is free, and so are you. Oh man, yeah, he now has portable Shigaraki. I can't believe he used his cork to carve up his own body. What fortitude! Yeah, I mean, you don't want to underestimate them. They're committed. Clever! He's imprisoning me with my clothes! But I'm perfectly positioned for a little sleight of hand- Why did I not realize Best Genius could do that? Costume. Oh, damn. I'm a master when it comes to trickery and deft escapes. Oof. And this is so hor horrif horrifying? Terrifying? Because they don't need to do anything here to win. Their victory comes just from escaping and letting Shigaraki recharge. He stole from false heroes who cared only about lining their pockets. As he spread his loot among the needy, he preached social reform. My son. We're getting a lot of history really quickly. I'm Oji Harima's great great grandson. The blood of the bandit king pumps through my veins. You barely noticed me, right? That was part of my grand deception. I'm not gonna lie, this is sort of meta for me, because he definitely is the League of Villains member I've been paying the least attention to, for sure. My role was saved for when it really mattered. Oh, he's actually good looking. It's time for Mr. Compressor's spectacular, once in a lifetime, escape act. But it seems obvious he doesn't think he's he himself is going to escape or make it out of this. I got this one! This guy was so perfectly designed for this Nomu. No, oh, or not. There we go. Or or not. You can't sleep now. Arise, Night Wielder. Boy, what a day. Thank goodness. I'm glad he... There it is again. I felt this a few times since the fight started. Yeah. It's the fourth user's quirk. Danger sense. He's unlocking a new power. Training for this power yet. It's, it's emerging. Killing my head. He's got spider sense now. All of a sudden. Admission is free. Relax and enjoy the performance. Oh no, Mirio cutting off his villain speech. I'm just a supported character. Wow. You two are the real stars of the show. Damn it! Wake up, Shigaraki. When I put them on, it's so strange. His hands. All they need to do to win is just to leave. This is them fighting when the heroes had the advantage of surprise. They weren't prepared for this. Shigaraki wasn't even ready. That's partly why the heroes are putting everything on the line because they recognize the threat. No matter what happened, despite the glory of Mirio showing up and Best Genius being not dead, 
I won't say okay. The League of Villains and Shigaraki escaping is a loss for them. A huge loss. Save defeating a few Nomu. They lost all those people for what? It just kicks the can down the road. It's going to come back worse. There's a heaviness in my heart. Like a lump of lead. Never moving. Fueling the rage that propels me. But never brings relief. What's this? Man, they were just broken. Though it's difficult for Tomura since he's a mere hatchling. It sounds like their voices are becoming unified. Fight. Until the end. Do not give up. Yeah, but also don't die, please, for, for me. We're withdrawing. Wait, you want to run? We can't do that. Compress is hurt. Yeah, back. it makes sense. And Maki is not going anywhere. Toga's supposed to be heading this way, too. I think Toga's awesome or crying. It's only fair that Tomura pays for his failures. Remember, this is all for my sake. This whole situation is bizarre. I wonder what role it's going to play going forward. Recipro Turbo! I'll finish this in a flash. <laughs> you don't look to finish it, damn. You won't escape! The permeation quirk, huh? If Mirio loses his powers again, I swear to God. Speaking of putting her life yeah. on the line. Time to go. As soon as she's giving it his all. I wonder how long the re recovery period is going to be for Deku. You haven't given He's up. Oh my god. <laughs> I'd say this he was like a black one with his mouth. To all yeah, yeah, for sure. And that's it. That's it, he's gone. You killed so many. There's no way I can forgive you. That's interesting. When you were being overtaken by All for One, no I saw it. You looked like... He wanted to be saved. Whoa, that is huge for the show. That's insane. To hear Deku say that, I've been waiting for that for so long. But man, is that a tall mountain to climb. I saw it too, you know, I think it was really significant when Shigaraki said that there's something deep down inside of him that's eating at him that he can't seem to address, that no matter what he does, it's still there. What is that? That's pain. He's drowned in it. And this is a show about heroes and people who want to save everyone. Does that only include people who have done nothing wrong? Or does it also include people who have done terrible things? All Might will always be the greatest hero for his time. In order for Deku to surpass him, it's not just about power, it's also about swinging the pendulum both sideways and forward, addressing the wrongs of the past, the very ones that led to this phenomenon with the League of Villains. And that seems to include no longer wrapping everything up in sort of a good evil narrative, where people who might have a chance get completely annihilated or cast aside by society because they don't fit. Which personally I love because it's an argument for nuance, which is difficult. It's way easier to have these sort of camps, the good and the bad, in which things that don't fit or have harmful elements are just broadly deemed as harmful and therefore, since they're undesirable, be kind of left to this abysmal fate. I think the kind of person Deku's becoming is heroic for a whole bunch of reasons. It's not just because he's seeking to save people. It's because actually, it's difficult. It puts a lot more responsibility on his own shoulders. It requires a, a more nuanced view, a looking into the truth that is this painful because it, it requires trading simplistic viewpoints for the hard work of actually trying to understand things and seeking to make things better in every way, including the most difficult ways. And it puts a lot of risk on his shoulders because it's not easy to save Shigaraki. I mean, if he cares about Shigaraki's soul, every ounce that that holds him back creates a threat to the world. While watching a lot of shows, but especially this show, I feel like my my definition of what a hero is has become more refined. And I think that there's a couple essential elements and one of them is winning. But another crucial part of that is winning while seeking the maximum good. But the more you seek the absolute good, the harder it is to win because not many people play by those rules. It's way easier just to eliminate problems and make excuses for that. It's way easier to look at things in a black and white manner so you can filter and not have to take on extra burdens and remove things that are painful or inconvenient. It's Deku taking the highest form of the argument, which is going to be painful for him. And quite frankly, it's going to be lonely for him because there's not a lot of people that will support anything related to say, Shigaraki's soul. But at the same time, it seems like it's exactly what the world needs, and it's exactly what Shigaraki needs. And it gives me hope to see. What a mixed bag of emotions, though, because this is so horrifically sad that all this happened. Oh, please be okay. That all this happened, we lost all these great people, and for what? We prevented nothing. Did nothing, really. Mr. Converse was wrong. It wasn't the villains that did nothing, it was the heroes. Except maybe something of symbolic value to each other, as Best Genius was saying. Practically speaking, logistically, this was just an absolute nightmare. Where do we even go from here if you're the hero society, if you're normal society? Meanwhile, the villains have a pretty clear path. And you know this hurts for Deku. Who, despite everything he did, you know, despite being this amazing person, 
in his eyes will will think he failed. Definitely hit the limits of his own ability there. But, you know, knowing Deku, it's not something that'll break him. It's something that'll make him stronger once he, you know, has a little bit of time to recover and process, especially with the support system he has, who are all there and all saw him. You know, they all saw each other. Articulating this right now, I think that's, that is really the victory for the heroes. There's no longer any doubt of why they're in it, you know? None of them. I mean, everyone shut up. I can't think of any hero that was sort of questionable before in a career climber that didn't put everything on the line for this battle. So they can take solace in the fact that they're among the best and that they're united in that. This started as a surprise attack from the heroes, but obviously it was the heroes that were caught off guard. There's a lot of lessons in here for them. Everything's different now. The whole tone of the show has shifted. The whole direction of hero society has shifted. And for, for each of them as individuals, it's such an incredible 13 episodes for the first half of season six. Such a range of emotions. This show goes from the depths of tragedy, not just for the lost heroes, but also for the lost villains, interestingly, but also moments of absolute triumph. You know, Mira coming back, Best Genius coming back, Endeavor and Todoroki fighting side by side. Every sacrifice that was made being both tragic and not joyful. That's not the right word. Triumphant. You get the depths of fear and the heights of glory and heroism simultaneously. So overall, I'm left with a lot of mixed feelings. I'm definitely shaken up by it. One major feeling left over is fear of what's next, but there's hope in there too. I think it's a good direction ending this arc here because there's just so much to do. There's so much to do with this. There's so much for the heroes to reflect on and we need time to digest what happened and to kind of pick up the pieces.